The situation at DC with Amber Heard continues to get worse and worse with each passing day, as just three weeks after reports came out saying that Amber Heard was accusing Jason Momoa of abuse on set, reports are now saying that she's also accusing the director of abuse on set. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more saying that the director would yell at her and wanted to remove her from the movie. Which is basically the same accusation that she threw at Jason Momoa, but she just changed directions and used it to attack the director. And honestly, you couldn't even script this, as this is by far more entertaining than anything that DC has put out in the last 10 years. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. And many fans were very quick to call Amber Heard a liar when these reports started surfacing, saying that she was accusing multiple people on set of Aquaman of abuse. However, I tried to do the right thing and wait until there was solid evidence, but now we've had multiple cast and crew and DC officials come out and say that the director was nothing but professional on set and that they didn't see any of what Amber Heard is claiming ever happened on set. Gotcha, bitch! And I don't think there would ever be any time on set of a film where Amber Heard would be alone with a director, especially when you're looking at a DC movie, a massive budget production. There's going to be multiple people on set at all times, possibly even hundreds of people, and so I don't think the director would be able to get away with this kind of abuse on set and no one call him out for it. So the fact that multiple people have come out saying that none of this happened and that they they didn't see the director raise his voice at Amber Heard is quite telling and possibly means that Amber Heard actually lied about both the abuse from Jason Momoa and the abuse from the director, which has led many people to believing that she's personally trying to sabotage this movie because she wasn't given a big role. As she initially said that her role was cut down due to the ongoing court case with Johnny Depp, but then you had people say that there was no malicious intent and that they weren't trying to remove her from the movie because of the court case. And if anything, the director and the producers probably reduced her role in the movie to give her the adequate time that she needed to deal with this ongoing court battle. Because when they were filming Aquaman 2, it was in the middle of all of this Johnny Depp and Amber Heard fiasco and all of these allegations being thrown between one another. So I'm sure they tried to give her the space that she needed in order to handle that situation and keep her mental state intact. And that's a very very nice thing and courteous thing to do. However, clearly she doesn't care much for niceness because she's then accused this director of abuse on set and also accused Jason Momoa and things have just gotten more and more ridiculous for this Aquaman movie by the day. And given the fact that this movie is set to release in just under two months, this marketing campaign couldn't have gone any worse because already people were talking about boycotting this movie because Amber Heard was in it and whether or not that's the right thing or wrong thing to do, the fact of the matter is that that is what's happening and that was already going to take a toll on the box office revenue that this movie generated. However, the fact that these reports have now surfaced saying that Amber Heard accused Jason Momoa of abuse as well and now also accused the director of abuse probably will result in even more people choosing to boycott this movie because they won't want to support work that involves someone that they absolutely despise and that they don't agree with. And it's possible that Aquaman 2 may lose over a hundred million dollars for Warner Brothers, which will be yet another big huge loss for the DCU and for the Warner Brothers company, which will only further push down the DCU and further put it in more disarray. And honestly, if I'm Warner Brothers at this point, I'm scrapping any idea of a DCU because I don't see why they'd even want to copy Marvel anymore when this is what Marvel has become. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I think Warner Brothers and DC would be better off if they just made those one-off films that include the superheroes. Because those movies have done extremely well for DC. When you look at Joker, when you look at Matt Reeves' Batman, those movies have always done well for DC and have always done well for Warner Brothers, even taking it back to Christian Bale's Batman. Those movies weren't tied to a universe, weren't tied to the DC extended 
Extended Universe, they were just one-off films with great filmmakers that told great stories. Because I think a huge problem for DC and why they're in such a bad position financially is because they were so focused on trying to build some sort of cohesive universe. And they were so focused on trying to compete with Marvel and look at what Marvel were doing over the last decade and trying to figure out their version of that. However, what DC failed to realize was that they had the better heroes. They had the better characters and could make the better standalone films. The reason Marvel even built a Marvel Cinematic Universe in the first place is because they never really had any heroes that would do well as a standalone movie. While they did have Tony Stark's Iron Man, they did have Captain America, which made great individual movies. What made them better was the way in which they were tied to one another through the Avengers and through the universe bringing them all together and showcasing all the different personalities. Marvel knew they had to use that in order to gain leverage over the characters that DC had. But when you look at DC's heroes from Batman to Superman, they have some great heroes and could have made great standalone films. When you look at Man of Steel, that could have been a great standalone movie and got destroyed when they tried to bring him together with Ben Affleck's Batman for the Justice League. And also when you look at what they were doing with Christian Bale's Batman, that was also amazing. So I do think DC just need to go down a route of just creating great individual stories and people will support that. But they continue to lose money when they try and make these marketable blockbuster movies and tie them together in a universe and it just puts them in a bad financial position, meaning that they can't deal with these types of situations with Amber Heard as well as they should. Because if DC was financially successful with other projects, they wouldn't have to be as stressed around this Aquaman 2 movie. They wouldn't have to be as stressed over Amber Heard affecting the box office revenue for this film because they would have already made great profits with their other movies. But the fact that they continue to bomb with every movie that they put out from Black Adam to Shazam 2, it means that when Aquaman 2 rolls around and it's going to be a bust for reasons out of their control, they can't deal with that and it's only going to set them back even further. So honestly, I think they should just give up on this whole DCU idea. I don't see it being successful ever. And also when you look at superhero fatigue starting to creep in, I just don't think universes work anymore. And when you look at the MCU, it's very clear to see that they definitely aren't working. But getting back to this Amber Heard situation, I have no idea what DC or Warner Brothers can do about it. Honestly, I think they just have to forget that any of this ever happened and just pray that they're able to come up with a movie in the future that can make them some money. I'm not so worried about Warner Brothers making money because they had Barbie. They've also got the Batman sequel and the Joker sequel coming up. However, I am worried about James Gunn's position at DC and I am worried about DC as a whole because they continue to lose money with every film and Aquaman 2 will be no different. But what are your thoughts on this situation? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.